I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Fragments of Him on Congregate. Um, had a little issue getting this to start. Um, I couldn't get it to run in Chrome, but it works in Firefox. It's a Unity game, obviously. Um, not sure if that's a Unity problem, a Chrome problem, or a this game problem, but using Firefox worked for me. Sunday was always our day together. We worked too much during the week to see each other often, so some days we would go and feed the ducks. I wish we hadn't worked so hard. You can make things disappear. Huh. Hello. I can't kill you. Oh. Sorry. Hello. Can I, can I feed you? Ducks. Ducks. Ducks, no! Ducks! It wasn't a big thing. But the time in the park together was special for us. Until I killed the ducks. Yes, this is going to be artsy philosophical bullcrap, if you couldn't already guess. That's why I was recommended it. So, I'm not sure what the yellow meter is. I'm not sure what anything is, actually. I don't... what? Okay, we've got invisible walls. Click all the objects highlighted in the yellow. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's what the yellow meter is. So it's like a first person looker at her? I can deal with that. Hmm. What did I miss? I don't see any yellow. You're not yellow. Well, what is... what's yellow? You're not yellow. I never thought I'd need an objective marker in an art game. But I do. Am I supposed to get this? Well, this is awkward. It's our place to be together. Gone. Dun dun dun. I don't yet know whose fault the crash was, but he was driving. He was alive in the ambulance, but they say he never woke up. I think I prefer it that way. He was dead by the time I got to the hospital. Everything here reminds me of him. I need to clear it all away. Ah. All these things. These reminders of that time together. I never thought I'd be here, wanting them gone. So that's why we're clicking and removing stuff. Removing memories of our presumably boyfriend? Not sure why it's so sludgy. That was his favorite book. He told me he would remember the story forever. Boop. He don't do this anymore. Hmm. I get some of the stuff we're removing, like his pillow and his bedstand. I'm not sure why we remove some of the other stuff. I guess we're removing everything but our bed and one pillow. We have a psychologist chair for some reason. Or a psychologist couch. I'm not sure if it's a couch or a chair, maybe it's both. It must be a web unity thing, or like... I'm not sure why the shadows are smudgy. I've definitely played unity games where the shadows weren't smudgy. Okay, so it eventually highlights stuff in yellow once you like take a while, I guess. Well, this is interesting. Such a small thing. A week after the crash, I was calm. Then I saw his toothbrush and knew I had to throw it away. And it wept, collapsed on the floor of the bathroom. When friends come to visit me, they speak to me in a quiet voice, as if a loud sound might startle me. They ask about the missing objects. 
I say, I'm going for a minimalist look. They nod and give me a strained smile, but I know they don't believe me. They know the reminders hurt too much. Um, Post-emptive feels warning. There's going to be feels in this game. I've been walking more since he died. I've been trying to get away from the memories to find something new. Whenever I go, I see things that make me think of him. His car hardly had any damage. It's just a habit to call him. It wasn't He was just sitting in the wrong position. His head turned the wrong way. And the impact broke something inside him. The doctors say it was a one in a thousand chance. I think that's supposed to console me. I just don't understand how. I can't face going to restaurants yet. I don't want to take it for life. His singing in the rain impersonation was wonderfully true. I never worked out if he was trying to be bad at it or if it was a natural lack of talent. I decided to stay inside. Don't really get all of the removal things, sort of a bit extra clicking that I feel should be necessary. I need this space to be clear so I can be free. You want me to be happy, but I can't be. I'm not living like this. Less clutter, less things to remind me of him. It's all got to go. How are we supposed to go on? People talk about getting closure, but his story was only half written. I'm sorry, the clicking of my mouse is totally going to ruin some ambiance. You don't get closure without breaking a few eggs with your mouse. This is a bad analogy. I'm sorry. I can't stand how I feel inside right now. Something has to change. I'm nearly there. Aw, oh, there was a picture in the trash. That's sad. Everything's sad. But he's not. I can't get rid of him. Why won't he leave me alone? It's all gone. He's gone. Go away, clutter. I'm green! Why am I green? I'm half green. I'm Gumby! I'm different now. He changed me. I'm Gumby, damn it. I feel the space he's left inside me. But it's, it's okay. It's his shape. It's going to be part of me that I carry forever. Denying that would be killing him again. Aww. Had a change of heart. Press A to have a change of heart. I like the clicky thing now. This this makes more sense than I initially thought it would. I don't know if this world is all there is, but that time with him meant something special to me. That time will never happen again. First-person-feel simulator. Why did we get his toothbrush back? That's kind of gross. Day day, that gets easier. It gets easier to remember the good times and be grateful. I don't know if I'll love like that ever again. But to have felt it for once, to know that love is real, that's enough for me. Thank you for playing Fragments of Him. Copyright Matazone and SassyBot Studio. Well, that was interesting. Yep, that's all there is. Hmm. Definitely not what I was expecting. Not sure what I was expecting, but I do like the the gameplay was pretty interesting for you know you're not obviously not playing it for the gameplay, but I liked how you sort of understood things as things went along. That's how stories work, I guess. Yeah. 